Welcome to Galaxy Log, a monthly video about observing galaxies that would be best seen in the upcoming month's dark window or near new moon. This month, I'm doing a special, as all the galaxies observed is through my 4 inch F10 refractor. From my beginning of interest in astronomy, in particular deep sky, I would read the monthly column in Sky and Telescope magazine called Deep Sky Wonders by Walter Scott Houston. Scotty, as he was known, used a 4 inch refractor for many of his deep sky observations, including galaxies. So this is the inspiration for this special galaxy lab. For galaxy log date 03.2015, we will head to Leo and Ursa Major for this month's galaxies. We first head to Leo and a personal favorite, NGC 2903. I first found 2903 in the 4 inch refractor using a 20mm super wide foot eyepiece. Best view this night was with a 12mm super wide foot eyepiece. Here NGC 2903 shows some detail, it is in a bright oval disc slightly modeled with a stellar nucleus and a very faint patch just northeast of the core. This is an exceptional galaxy, and I will report on the Galaxy Log blog sometime in the next month of viewing 2903 with a larger telescope. We head north to the great constellation of Ursa Major in the galaxy NGC 2681. Though not a remarkable galaxy, it was an easy catch in the 4 inch refractor. Using a 20mm super wide foot eyepiece, caught this galaxy at this power looking like a star with a small faint round glow surrounding it. I needed a 7mm super wide foot eyepiece for best view of this smallish galaxy. Neither star like or stellar nucleus stood out vividly. This rounding round disk of the galaxy was a bit easier to see, but no detail was seen. Staying in Ursa Major and a couple of the best known galaxies in the sky, M81 and M82. Observing with a wide field eyepiece, this pair is one of the great views of spring, actually striking even in a small telescope. With a 4 inch refractor and a 15 mm wide field eyepiece, the view was not disappointing. I spent a couple minutes just admiring this duo in the same field of view. To observe each galaxy, I inserted a 9mm super wide foot eyepiece with M81 first. The galaxy showed a small nucleus within a larger, very bright core. The large surrounding halo showed a bit of modeling, with two stars just south of the core. I headed east southeast of M81 to NGC 3077 and inserted a 7mm super wide foot eyepiece in the focuser. With a bright 8th magnitude star nearby, this small galaxy was seen as a round glow with a slightly brighter center. On to M82, which is one of the most detailed galaxies in this part of the sky, did not disappoint this night with a 4 inch refractor. With a 9mm eyepiece in the focuser, I centered the galaxy, which showed M82 as a very long, heavily modeled disk with a brighter central region. The dark line that cuts perpendicular near center was seen. I inserted a 7mm super wide foot eyepiece, and the detail in the galaxy stood out more, including the dark line. 
best view here. Well, that's it for this month's Galaxy Log. Clear dark skies and happy galaxy observing. Also remember, there's an amazing universe all around us. Explore it. Galaxy Log is a production of Have a Stellar Birthday. We work with light, time, and people. Sponsored by 90mm Observatory Backyard Astronomy with Small Telescopes Learn more at 90mm.org Special thanks to the Chesmont Astronomical Society, dedicated to observational astronomy for more than 25 years. And to the music of Dave Luxton.